Everything that I create is like a constant projection of whatever I'm thinking at the time or whatever I'm going through. So every piece I look at, it reminds me of where I was or who I was when I drew it, when I made it, and everything for me is quite an emotional process. This piece is a tailored jacket with a tailored denim trouser. The textile is naturally dyed using a wax and resist block print. It's from my collection Children of the Rag Trade, which I dedicated to people like my parents who have dedicated most of their lives working in the rag trade in East London. And I'm very grateful for all of their hard work and it was almost like an homage to them. I think the inspiration for this piece came about from looking at all of my old family photographs. It was through looking at all of the interiors, the textiles that my mum made us wear, that this pattern came about. And I quite like this idea of using the block print to kind of have this like swirling effect, which is actually so attention grabbing. Because that's what I really loved about all my old family photographs is that it felt like every photograph was fighting for attention. The, the carpet was fighting against the wallpaper to what the person in the picture was wearing. For me, it's really special that this piece is going into the V&A. I go there often. I reference a lot of the textiles there. And I just remember when I first came across the South Asian bit in the archive, and I just love it. There's so many different textile techniques. And there's amazing examples of wax and resist block print. There's amazing examples of embroidery, Khadi, uh, Jamdani weaves. And then what I loved was going back to Bangladesh and seeing examples of these such high quality textiles, but in Bangladesh as well. I have an amazing collaboration with a brand called Aranya in Bangladesh and we've been working together for three years now and over those years we've just built like a great relationship where we constantly push each other. Every year it's just growing with how far we can push craftsmanship, be it through the patterns or the cutting or the textile itself. So the technique for the textile is a wax and resist block print. So initially first somebody has to hand carve a block print and it starts off with a white denim which is ethically made and organic. They'll apply um, a layer of wax using the block print and then it dips into a dye. Then another layer of wax goes on top, dips into a dye and that process just keeps continuing and then it gets completely washed out in hot water to become soft again and then there's two other colours that go on top using natural dye paste just to help like make it bounce a lot more. A piece like this takes a lot of people and for me I see every single person who's in that chain as a collaborator with me. This hierarchy of having this like star designer at the top is like it doesn't fit with what I'm trying to do and I quite like the idea that everyone sees who I collaborate with, it, that, that transparency of everyone I'm working with has to be there. I think the main thing that everyone needs to consider is how is your clothing going to give back to the planet? For me, that is just at the core. So what I've done in each product, be it the bag, the hats, the jacket or the trousers, is that inside the facing is a small little seed. It is of a poplar tree. My hope is that one day when someone's completely bored with the outfit or an apocalypse has happened, it's going to hit the soil and over about 10-15 years, all the natural organic cotton will like, decompose, all the natural dyes in the garment will just go back into nature and this one little seed will plant the tree. It's this idea of how fashion can be regenerative and I'm constantly thinking of other ways that I can be better. I've always seen my designs as gender fluid. I loved how the tailoring fit on me. I loved how the tailoring fit on a lot of my female friends, how it fit on my gender fluid friends. I think what we're waiting for is for stores and for the fashion industry to catch up and to stop using labels like women's wear and men's wear. And if somebody wants to go pick up a dress, they will. If somebody wants to go pick up a tailored jacket, they will. It's just clothing. I love the idea of just being quite a small brand. It's sustainable for me. Um, it's sustainable for the planet. Everything is made to order and I have no dream of becoming the next Prada. I just want to make things for people who really appreciate this type of design and keep pushing craftsmanship through it.